Team coverage this morning on the landmark guilty verdict in the Derek Chauvin trial. We'll show you what happened inside the courtroom and have reaction from the family of the victim, George Floyd. We begin with the verdict. After three weeks of testimony and closing arguments, it took jurors just hours to return a verdict. As the network's Alejandra Garcia reports, Chauvin is guilty on all three charges he faced. After almost a year since the death of George Floyd that caused protests worldwide, the trial case against the former police officer Derek Chauvin has come to an end. We the jury in the above entitled matter as to count one, unintentional second degree murder while committing a felony, find the defendant guilty. Three weeks after the Derek Chauvin trial started, the jury has decided and the verdict is in. We the jury in the above entitled matter as to count two, third degree murder, perpetrating an eminently dangerous act, find the defendant guilty. Former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin has been found guilty on all three charges concerning the death of George Floyd. We the jury in the above entitled matter as to count three, second degree manslaughter, culpable negligence, creating an unreasonable risk, find the defendant guilty. George Floyd's brother was inside the courtroom as the jury's verdict was read by the judge. Today, we are able to breathe again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The jury reached the verdict in the span of two days. Judge Peter Cahill will determine Chauvin's sentencing in eight weeks. All right. Thank you. Bail is revoked, bond is discharged, and the defendant is remanded to the custody of the Hennepin County Sheriff. Following the conviction, Chauvin was handcuffed in the courtroom and taken into custody after his bail was revoked. The other officers that were involved are expected to face trial in early August. I'm Alejandra Garcia, signing off for South Florida Media Network. Team coverage continues now with the network's Katarina Rodriguez, who has reaction from the Floyd family. I was optimistic and I kept saying, we will get justice, we will get it. George Floyd's brother says he can breathe once again, but he admits it was hard for him to watch his brother die over and over again during the course of the trial. It was a motion picture, the world seeing his life being extinguished. And I could do nothing but watch, especially in that courtroom, over and over and over again. George Floyd's girlfriend, Courtney Ross, spoke out about what this verdict means for the future. This is a huge day for the world. Yes. We're, we're finally starting to see, you know, we walked around with eyes wide shut for a long time, so they're starting to open today. And After the jury delivered a guilty verdict on all three counts, George Floyd's family received a phone call from President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. You're an incredible family. I wish I were there just with my arms around you. I'm standing here with Cedric. We've been talking, we've been watching every second of this, and the Vice President, all of us. And, uh... Moving forward, George Floyd's family hopes there will be lasting change. And hopefully our country take a turn in the right direction today. Like, use your voice, but remember the message. And the right. message is that we're here to, you know, we're here to help change this world. Floyd. Say his name! George Floyd! And for the South Florida Media Network, I'm Katarina Rodriguez.